Hello for everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did. I decided to make another video before I go to um, San Diego, because for some reason I just felt paranoid. So I'm going to introduce four different characters to you guys. One hero and three villains, as far as I know. And I hope this camera is in proper symmetry, and I just hope that all of this works for you guys' sake and such. I'll begin, so that way I wouldn't be a problem. Here's the first one, the one hero. Mip, real name? Miranda Ingrid Patterson. Height, 15 feet. Weight, 425 pounds. Status, hero and sidekick of Pim. Base, Fortress of Heroism, Morble. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, witty and loopy, yet somewhat cautious. She's obsessed with Pim. Lethality, extremely dangerous, though she doesn't seem like it. Weaknesses, she isn't a good judge of character. Powers. She has the same agility, strength, and three hearts as Pym. However, she does not have a high intellect, is unable to break the fourth wall, and is unable to make nuclear farts. But she does also the, she does have telepathy, telekinesis, can phase through solid objects, is extremely annoying, and has enough density to deflect a nuclear shell with ease. She also has an uncanny ability called her soul sense, in which her soul would vibrate whenever it senses any kind of danger nearby. Eyes vivid hazel with glasses, hair deep auburn and luscious. Origin. One time, Pem decided to make an update to a teleportation device on her wristwatch in order to make it more accurate. But her device overheated and created a genetic opposite of Pym, who possesses mental powers, phasing abilities, and a reverse design, a reverse anatomical design, to say, who calls herself Bip. After weeks of non-stop chattering, Pym couldn't stand her long talking for any longer and soon lost herself and screamed in rage to her face, making Mip emotionally crushed. Mip then fled from the fortress in tears until she was captured by the genocidal dark Pym, making Pym choose to save her from a horrible death. Mip then apologized to Pym for being so annoying, and they were since great partners in fighting crime. And whenever Mip decides to start talking again, Pym would put on a pair of advanced earmuffs to muffle her chattering. Costume. She normally dresses in casual wear, solitary with Pym and other heroes. Or inspiration, Pym. Crazy. Yes, yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm going to introduce the next three characters, which are all villains, just so you know. Sorry. Crazy. Real name, Jesse Quinzel. Height, 5 feet 11 inches. Weight, 154 pounds. Status, villain and mass murderer. Base, mobile. Intelligence, 4.5 brains. Behavior, murderous and insane. She's one to be avoided at all costs. Lethality, extremely dangerous. You'll never know what happens next. Weaknesses, she has a horrible laughing problem. Powers, she has a variety of gag weapons used to torture and kill her opponents, i.e. a horn that shoots flames, a flower that emits blinding sparks, playing cards that warp reality, etc. Her favorite weapon is a double-edged silver battle axe with happy and sad clown faces on either side. She emits sanity gas from her breath that drains the sanity of others. She also has high agility, is an unpredictable fighter, and can make a disorienting laugh that goes on for hours. Eyes, multicolored contacts, hair, blonde and wavy. Origin. Jessie Quinzel was a girl born with a sinister lack of a moral compass, and thus was murdering people since she was three years old. Before she ever passed grade school, her parents abandoned her in a mental institution to reside in for life. Many years later, Jessie was rescued by the Black Queen by being transported to the Black Castle of Wonderland, where she was taught how to fight her targets as well as being granted with an arsenal of weapons for her to use. Since then, Jessie was given the name Q 
crazy and has been known to break every law that ever was. Nowadays, she spends her time as an ally with both the Black Queen and the traumatic Leverikush, with bodies piling higher than normal. Costume. She wears a multicolored clown suit that's fire and bulletproof. Teams, solitary with the Black Queen and other villains. Original inspiration, DC's Joker. The next character I'm going to introduce is known as Spino Sapien. So I'm halfway done, just bear with me please. Spino Sapien. Real name goes by Spidey. Height 40 feet, excluding sail, weight 4 tons. Status villain and queen of the reptiles. Base mobile. Intelligence 2 and a half brains. Behavior. Judgmental, vicious, and remorse remorseless. She is fond of all beat. Lethality as above. She's known to win against the Diana Hora. Weaknesses, her stomach. She has a few patches of skin that serves as weak spots. She'll immediately lose a fight if she falls on her back. Powers. She has sharp claws and teeth, great strength, acute senses, is a fast swimmer, and can eat her victims bone and all. She has a spine sail that she uses to cool herself down, usually after a long fight. She's also covered in gray scales that protect her like a suit of armor, mostly covered. Eyes, reddish black, hair, deep brown, in a short bob. Maybe light black would be a better portrayal, so sorry. Origin. Tyranitar once decided that if she wants to have some help with her Sinful Six team, while her Sinful Six team is unavailable, she could simply create her own partner in crime. She then stole a Spinosaurus fossil from the local museum, merged it with her own DNA and created a creature that was waist up the body of a woman and waist down the legs and tail of a Spinosaurus, along with razor sharp teeth, jagged claws, and a classic spine sail protruding from her back. Tyranitar then named the new villain as Spinosapien and made her rampage across New York. They just about succeeded in killing Madame Shear, if not for Dragonoid to arrive and defeat them. Realizing that Bro Tyranitar broke her promise that she would rule New York City, Spiny had knocked Tyranitar into a coma, and was for a time her replacement in leading her villain team of the Sinful Six. Costume. She's mostly covered with gray scales. Team Solitary with Tyranitar or Releads the Sinful Six. Original Inspiration, Spinosaurus. He is the last character, just so you guys know. The last villain and all that stuff. The Theracush. Real name, Ashley Megans. Height, 5 feet 9 inches. Weight, 155 pounds. Status, villain and mass murderer. Base, mobile. Intelligence, one and a half brains. Behavior, insane and cruel. She's an excellent example of one diagnosed with Stockholm Syndrome. Lethality. She would always try to paint the world red. Weaknesses. She isn't very intelligent. She has no self-control. Powers. She, she has a chainsaw for her left hand. High agility. Acute senses. And is an expert hunter. She's also hard to kill due to her pain tolerance. Eyes. A green right eye. Hair golden and partially burnt. Origin. Ashley Megans was a sweet child until she was nine years old, when an unknown madman blew up her family's home and captured Ashley. He stitched her face together and replaced her left hand with a chainsaw, giving her a new life with him and teaching her how to kill. One day he was caught by authorities and given a death sentence, prompting Ashley to exact her revenge on society and go as far as to fuse a, be a breathable metal mask to her face, lowering her sense of direction. Nowadays. She would spend her time chasing, slashing, and mutilating people just for her own twisted amusement. Costume. She wears a dirty, torn dress that's smeared in blood. Team Solitary or with other villains. Original inspiration? Mass murderers. Well, those are the four characters, and I hope I make things work for you guys in terms of the transmission. And just so you guys know, next time you see me, there's a chance that I would be in San Diego and recording that stuff. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below and share if you want. It's your choice. I hope you guys are having a fine rest of the month and so forth and all that stuff. Hope you guys are having the best of times. And until next time, in transmission.